We back up in this bitch again. New YouTube channel up in the clouds. Fuck with me. The I got on everything. Instagram. Not Snapchat, but I don't even be on there, so y'all need to know my Snapchat. Everything else, hit me up, look up the Yak God, Spotify, all that shit, type in Yak God, I'ma pop up, nigga. We in this bitch with my homie, my brother, Stacks. What Tell up, man? I can get at you at. What up, man? Y'all can hit me on the gram, man, Stacks underscore 33. Or you can reach out to me on Facebook, Stacks Ernesto Escobar. Or catch me on SoundCloud, Stacks 33 on SoundCloud. Mm. Oh, uh, that catch me. Oh, yeah, you catch me on Friday. Cypher 2 every Friday on a 7 5. You know what I'm saying? The first thing I want to ask you, because I feel like that when, when I was on the bag report, did I do your interviewer bags? Did I think uh, bags, bags did my stories. Yeah, okay, so this is my first time actually getting it really big. <laughs> All right, what's the 33? That's your uh, hoop number or something? No, nah, the, the 33, for real, for real, that shit. That shit came from, um, I used to, I think I was one of the first niggas around here who was wearing, like my age at least, was wearing Patrick Ewan's. So the 33 on the back just stuck out to me. That shit was cool. That shit looked dope to me. I'm like, damn, I should put that on the end of my name. That sounds a little sweet. Because it's a billion stacks, but it's only 133. Yeah. yeah. Google stacks and a billion niggas gonna pop up. I thought it was going to be so deep, but that's shit. Oh, no, that's just light shit, man. That's just light. That ain't, it ain't nothing that, you know, that's serious. It's just light. Yeah, yeah. So what got you in the <coughs> The first thing that you seen as a young nigga that was like, oh, yeah, I'm about to be a rapper. Keep it 100. <laughs> watching, um, watching Wayne and um, the cash money and the, with, with No Limit them was doing at the time. That was dope as hell to me. And I was only like six, seven years old at the time, but that shit still was dope. I'm like, them niggas got this, that, you know. You know how like, motherfuckers be usual shit. You see people with shit that you want. You, like, damn, I want to do what they doing to get what they got. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gon' never be shit what been said to me But I grind for mine and put in work Ain't nothing been hand to me I bust them sales, took them penitentiary chances, nigga I walk that yard Besides Wayne, cause I can hear Wayne heavy in your style Who else, who else is like part of, part of your architecture? Like who is all your shit built up? Uh, I, I try to tap in a little bit with um with a little bit of Jay-Z, cause I fuck with Jay-Z heavy. And um a little little bit of meek with the with the with the hood storytelling type shit, you know what I'm saying? With with a little bit of give people a peek of your background but still be snapping with that shit. And um shit, I I like Drake too, but I don't too much you know, I probably Listen to a cadence Drake said or something, you know, flip it, flip it with my own shit. But I ain't no, I ain't gonna sing on no shit or nothing like that. But you know, yeah. I just listen to all type of shit though to keep it one. I listen to all type of shit and just mix it up and just put my own shit on there too. Cause that's how you stay relevant. You know what I'm saying? You can't just stick with one style. Like just my style and that new shit coming out and, and niggas is sounding different. You got to keep up with that shit. Facts. Facts. How you feel about the scene right now? Yeah, man, you been on it for a while. Yeah, yeah, but right now it's the young, it's the young niggas running it right now. I ain't gonna lie, it's a lot of young niggas doing their thing. Uh, a lot. You know what I'm saying? I just keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Who's <laughs> some of your favorite niggas right now? Man, I fuck with up. Uh, man, I fuck with Jam. Jam hard. I fuck with uh my nigga Mac Mac Myron, Mac go hard. He put out some EPs. Nigga slept on them, but Mac hard, um, ill will hard as hell. Mm -hmm. Big facts. Uh, who else I fuck with around here, man? Oh, shout out uh to my young dog too, my young dog Quay. He on his way up. Y'all look out for dog dog on the tip, for real, for real. And uh, shh, man, fuck with you, your music. <laughs> Appreciate it. <that. laughs>
appreciate it. Yeah, my, my dog, Max, and uh, Mike Phelps, too. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I just be open to listen to nigga shit, but them niggas is who I really be tapped in with. So, shit, I know everybody else want to know because I want to know. When is your fucking project dropping, bro? Man, this shit like detox. <laughs> like Dr. Dre shit, this shit take 10 years. But no, nah, man, I I actually, for real, for real, got at least, I got enough songs done, we're going to say that. I could put out a double disc. That's how much shit I got, you know what I'm saying, saved up. But I just need to get my shit in order, how, how I want to approach with it. Like, I want to get my track arrangement right. I got to get my shit. Certain tracks mix and master. I just don't want to put anything out there, you know how that go. Yeah, I feel and want to be able to present that bitch like an actual mixtape. I don't want to just be like, oh yeah, let me hurry up and get this done because he asking, she asking, they want to know this and he want to take my time with that shit. But it's crazy because I have yet to drop a mixtape but still relevant mm -hmm. with this music shit. This is crazy. And I still get invited to do shows and all this extra shit with no mixtape. But I just know if I, when I drop that mixtape though, this is going to be more fire. It's just shit gonna go up man. Yeah, yeah. And, and do more visuals too so shit, shit gonna go up bro i'm just planning it have you tapped in with any producers in here mm. i um what's dog name man that's my dog this the life i chose fuck these hoes i do better my own i can't wait till i'm on this the life i chose this the life I I'll chop it up. So that go look like y'all like sitting there waiting on me to ask me a question and shit. Let Why you roll that? Please, like, I couldn't even get that bitch. Stop lying. Man, the thinnest smoke I ever had. Yeah, yeah. Most of it. Hell yeah, nigga got to suck that bitch. Oh, oh. shit. I've been standing in the Yo, neck hurting and shit, trying to pull it. The pistol was thin as fuck. Thin to weed. You niggas ain't got an icy line in this bitch? No. Shit, I can't get a little bit of a little bit of a I got a couple more questions, you niggas sick as hell. Uh, <laughs> do me off with that bitch. I can't do it. Do my dick. You heard the um, cold as ice? Pete. Pete is my dog. He's sweet. He bought the sweetest nigga I done heard from the act. Personally, on my, my, for my level, that I like to, my ear music. But uh, Trap a lot dope too. He been doing shit for yeah, a long yeah. time. Shout out Trap. Um, I got some traps. I wrapped off some of both of that shit. Mm -hmm. Who else? Uh, both of them been on the scene about as long as I've been on the scene. I started, I, I came out here nigga, dropping tracks and shit, nigga, 2000, fuck. Man, you been out here longer than me, shit, you know? <laughs> I first started, I think I first, my first song I ever recorded was after, what was that? That Jeezy drop, that first shit. Thug Motivation 101, mm -hmm. I was like 05, so I, my first song I ever did was like 06. I was 15, but it's just been on there ever since, though, you know? Who's some artists you want to work with from around here? From around here? Man, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, bro, there's nobody who I'm dying to just, you know, collab with. Yeah. You know, because that's just, I mean, I'm not saying not saying nothing about nobody about nothing, but I'm just not. You know what I'm saying? I can feel that. that shit. Just I be on the same court. shit. Um, you know, I don't hit up a lot of niggas. You know well, saying? I do now because I'm working on United Streets of the Yak, and I want that bitch. To yeah, be, you want that bitch to be a collaboration yeah. of the hottest niggas, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. I don't want it to just be me and my niggas. 
and call the United Streets to the Yak, cause nigga, that's only the Yak guys, nigga. Mm -hmm. That ain't really the Yak. It gotta be, no, oh, I want all the generations out there. But I'm not, like, I'm not, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying, like, I won't work with niggas, but it's just like, I ain't anxious to work with nobody. I, ain't I, I don't write songs and be like, oh, I can put such and such on here. Nah, damn, I go. Because when niggas write them, they don't say that. <laughs> niggas just do them. So do them. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no hard feelings with nobody. But if we in the same stool and niggas dropping something and I like it or vice versa, yeah, we can do that. But. Yeah, that makes sense though, shit. Where you see yourself in rap in the next three to five years? Ooh, next three to five years with the rap shit, seriously. Um, mm, I see myself on my second album and I think a lot of people gonna know how dope I am next year, <laughs> this year too. You gonna still be independent? Man, hell yeah, I'm gonna push the independent pen for a long time, bro, until if somebody could, you know, can 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 throw something, like I keep my royalties and all that extra shit, my publishing, fuck royalties, I need my publishing, I need my writer's shit, I need to own everything on the writing tip. Because writing is what counts, kids. Writing is what counts. All that shit for real. You feel me? You need your publishing. But. No, if somebody came at me like that with a good ass publishing deal or something like that, hell yeah, I sound with a label. But other than that, I'd rather just do my thing how I'm doing it, bro. I mean, I know I'm not, you know, doing much right now, but I'd rather just do it how I'm doing. It. Take the approach, I should say. Say less, uh, less hands and mouth to feed besides the family. You feel me? Yeah. I ain't gotta worry about it, man. Yeah. That's how I be thinking too. A lot of niggas be always talking to me about it. I'll be like, you still on that, bro? You don't see these young niggas out here getting Independently, rich? Independently. Because labels not even live. To keep it a hundred, labels only looking at a nigga social media following and all that, bro. If you got a strong social media backing before you get a deal, they own you. They figure if this thing can get 30,000 people to watch him take pictures and do all this on his page, we can, we can get them. We can get them to uh to come to the show or do whatever. You know what I'm saying? So man, that shit, it just makes sense, man. Like you gotta be popular on the social media shit, man. Music don't even matter for real. It never did. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the image. You got that image, you can rock out. I'll be telling niggas that too, like make yourself marketable. Man. Got to. You can't be out here doing dumb shit, which you know. Marking your face up, getting tattooed on your face, all that shit. You ain't gonna, you gonna be dead. That shit damn near marketable now. Yeah. Shit. When you, if you trying to get, you know, bigger. It depends. Yeah. Depending you're on what you're trying to do. Like you want to jump in the movie or something. You only gonna have one role. You gonna be a killer, motherfucker, or a jail type nigga. Either <laughs> or, you not gonna be at this nigga who got this Fortune 500 business or nothing like that. Then you got tattoos on your. I mean, some niggas you can get them bitches makeup or whatever, but niggas ain't. <laughs> so out of all the more, out of all the artists that you have worked with, mm -hmm. like who was the smoothest? Like who you had the best time with in the booth? He was like, oh yeah, I work with work with this motherfucker. Man, it's actually it's actually two people, um, and that's that's Max, cause he a motherfucker. <laughs> he, he crazy as hell, and yeah, that's you. <laughs> Y'all two niggas, cause we smoke, so you know, niggas be vibed out like that. Other than that, bro, I ain't even really recorded with too many niggas, so I can't even say. You know, yeah. I don't know how niggas is in they booth or when they record. Niggas set up might be way different than what I do. I don't know what niggas do. <laughs> I just know what you do, and I know what that nigga do. I don't know if niggas be in there on their phones all day. I don't know, cause when I come in. We already know what's going on. We yeah, niggas be getting What up? Get you know, it. play the beat. Let's smoke one. All right, jump in here. Let's get it. And we know what we doing. Other niggas want to be in that bitch smoking all day on Snapchat. You talking for a minute. Uh, you you calling niggas over there. You don't like the beat now. It's just too much. I'd rather not because I'm going in and I'm doing what I came to do. Your local strip club. 
and perform a uh unknown songs while strippers <laughs> in the background shaking their ass. Trying to catch a vibe. Listen, bro, if I'm at wherever I'm at, I don't care what strip club I'm at. And you've been to a plentiful of them. School of them. <laughs> I don't want to see you on stage performing, nigga. I came here to see the ass shaking. I don't care about your song, my nigga. I'm not becoming a fan. No. I will never be at a strip club like, oh, this shit. Right? Hey, <laughs> now, I'm <laughs> now I'm pissed because I am being distracted. I came here for ass and tea. Why are you taking the whole stage and your fucking song, dude? Hey, wait. You, know you what? up here for 15 what? minutes. You want to No. You no, up here for 15 I'm irritated now. Like, I want to leave. Like, I'm irritated. I'm trying to enjoy my lab chops. Oh, <laughs> lamb chops. I'm trying to enjoy my lamb chops and my Alfredo. Oh, and my <laughs> Alfredo. <laughs> and my drink. <laughs> Bro. Drink a little more. I'm trying to enjoy my Alfredo. <laughs>